Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. Today I will show you how to extract the water bodies from your study area using ArcGIS from our Landsat 8 image. So let's get started. So to perform that operation, we required to use this formula. Let me show you that. So this is called the water ratio index. So in this uh, water ratio index, we have uh, the green band plus red band divided by the near infrared plus the short wave infrared 1. So in Landsat 8 image or 8 to 9, the water ratio index is equal to band 3 plus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 6. Now let me show you the band 3 and 4. Band 3 is green and band 4 is red and band 5 is uh, near infrared and band 6 is our short wave infrared 1. So let's get back to the ArcGIS section. So now go to the add section, now add data and that select uh, our recorded bands. Let me show you the word section. So the recorded bands are band 3, 4, 5 and 6. So let me go back. So we recorded band 4, band uh, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So let me check this. We record band 3, 4, 5 and 6. So now let me add. So please select band 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this is our Landsat 8 image. We have we have band 3, band 4, 5 and 6. So let's get started. So now, so now go to the search section. Now enter as raster calculator. Now search. So choose the raster calculator spatial analyst. So this is our raster calculator spatial analyst. Now let me enter our recipe formula to calculate the water bodies to extract our water bodies. So uh, let me show you the formula. So we have band 3 plus band 4 divided by band 5 and plus band 6. So let's get back. So choose a float option, double click float option, band 3 plus band 4. Now divided by, and again choose the float option and band 5 plus band 6. So this is a recipe formula to calculate the uh, water ratio index that is to the first step to extract our water bodies from our study area. So let me choose my output location. So the output location now uh, let me enter as the water ratio index that is WRI the water ratio index the short form. So save this. So click OK. So the process is running. Wait for some time. So our raster calculator has run the process. So we have our water ratio index raster. So now let me uh, right click, go to the property section and choose a symbology and choose as a classified section, classify. So class ever under require. So we require it. Yes. So now uh, let me choose the let me choose three classes. So let me choose three classes. Two classes, sorry, two classes. So okay. So classify section, go to the manual. So click OK. And make sure that you select two classes and make sure you enter as one for here and one here. So and the classification method is manual. So now click OK. And from this formula, I want to say you that 
if the value more than 1 indicates the water bodies so for the let me choose the color here I'll choose the color the blue color and for uh, other values we choose uh, this one so let me apply and click OK so let me turn off other layers So now you can able to see the different water body that is present in our study area. Let me zoom in. So suppose if you want to extract your water bodies we have to use a tool called reclassify so let me go back to let me go to the search section and enter as reclassify now click search so choose the space reclassify spatial analyst so in that let us input our WRI that is water ratio index so we have two value one value is between 0.221 another value is from 1 to 1.99 so one greater than one is a feature and value that indicates the water bodies so let me choose the output location i will enter the name as reclassify reclassify wri so click save let me check this so let me reduce the name so now click ok so this is a very classified uh, raster now let us extract the water bodies from uh, from this raster so you can see that a purple indicates the the different features but the green one indicates the our water bodies so let extract let's ex extract our water bodies so in our next step we're gonna convert this layer to a polygon so go to the arc toolbox section So go to the conversion tools and from conversion from raster to a polygon click this now input raster as reclass water ratio index that is WRI now choose your output location let me choose as a water ratio index polygon So click save. So now click OK. So it is running. So now we can able to find that. So now you can able to find that this is our river. So now uh, let me uh, extract this river or uh, river path this is one of our water bodies so now let us extract our water bodies by go to the uh, water ratio index polygon right click go to the open to attributes so go to this option called table options and uh, go to select by attributes now let me choose the grid for grid code so you can understand that from grid code uh, 2 is our required one because uh, grid code 2 indicates the water body and grid code 1 is uh, other features which is not required for this 
purposes we required it only our water bodies so select grid code and equals to 2 so now apply so only the grid 2 is selected now let me close this so to extract our water bodies all we have to do is right click go to the data export data so now let me save the location so let me save as a water bodies so let me save this click ok so wait for some time it is being exported so yes so now let me uh, turn off other layers so you can see that our water bodies has been selected so river course has been selected here too so So the river course are being more clearly distinguishable from here. So even the oceans have been also be created. So let us extract this uh, um, this one. So let me extract this river course. So to do that, all you have to go do is go to the select features. Now click this feature. So the feature has been selected. So uh, even the oceans have, have also been selected because suppose if you want to work out with your study area, make sure that you crop out your required study area. So it will be more uh, easier for you to run. So here we have even the oceans are selected. So let me uh, right click the water bodies layer and data, export data let me choose the output location as a uh, choose a river to say okay yes so let me turn off this so we have a so we have our uh, river course that has been selected here so in this way you can uh, select uh, other uh, features too So this is our uh, required river course. So in this way you can choose a variety of water bodies in your study area varying from lakes, rivers and etc. So in this way you can extract your surface water bodies using the using water ratio index. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel Terra Spatial for more contents.